What's going on YouTube? Welcome to today's video which is all about the five things that you need to know about the new DJI Matrice 200 series drone which was just announced by DJI and in addition what it might mean for future iterations of the Phantom series and the Mavic Pro series. So make sure you hit that big thumbs up on the video. It really helps me out a lot. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss any upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Stay tuned. Feature number one dual battery support. Now this is a trend we're starting to see on more and more drones, especially on the higher end. This improves the reliability of the drone, even with the advancement in lithium battery technology, with how reliable these drones are. Still, if you lose a battery mid-flight, it's nice to have a dual battery system because it improves the reliability and the redundancy of the system. So if you lose one battery, you are still able to land safely. And with the dual battery system on the Matrice 200, this supports flight times up to 38 minutes. Your exact flight time will depend on the payload that you have installed on the drone. Feature number two, dual gimbal support. With two downward facing gimbals, you're able to look at multiple streams of data. Let's say you're inspecting power lines. You may need to look at the thermal imaging sensor from the XT and the XTR camera, as well as the standard zoom lens. You can have both of them installed simultaneously on the underside of the Matrice 200. In addition, you can also have one upward facing gimbal, which this is really handy for doing bridge inspections and other situations where you actually need to look up from the drone. Feature number three, IP43 rating. Now, what does this mean exactly? Well, the IP43 means that the drone can be exposed to the elements, meaning rain or snow in flight and be just fine. Now, a word of warning, the drone cannot be submerged. So if for some reason you crash it into a lake or a body of water, then the IP43 rating isn't going to mean much, but if you are out flying and you happen to run into some rain or snow, the drone should be just fine. Feature number four, DJI AirSense. DJI AirSense broadcasts the precise location of the quadcopter, in this case the Matrice 200, to all aircraft in the area. Obviously this is a great step forward towards ultimate safety and reliability when flying your drone because it lets all aircraft know the precise location of your drone. And finally, feature number five, upward facing infrared sensor. Now in addition to the Matrice 200, this sensor is also available on the new Inspire 2 drone from DJI, which makes it really great when you're flying indoors or in tight confined spaces you're always protected from what's above you. Now, what do these features mean for future iterations of the Phantom series and also the Mavic Pro series? Well, for starters, the IP43 rating is really exciting. I would like to see that technology passed down to the Phantom series and also to the Mavic Pro series in future iterations because it adds another level of safety if there's any inclement weather that passes through mid-flight. Another feature from the Matrice 200 that I'm really excited about for future iterations of the Phantom and Mavic Pro series is the dual battery support. I think this adds just another layer of reliability despite how reliable these drones are. These are rock solid. I mean, the batteries are great, but there's only one of them. I think with dual battery support, that would make it that much more reliable, add another layer of redundancy, which I think would be awesome for future iterations of the Phantom series and the Mavic Pro series. The upward facing infrared sensor would also be a great addition to the Phantom series and the Mavic Pro series. So when you're flying indoors or in confined spaces, you always have that level of protection above the drone. And last but certainly not least, the DJI AirSense would be a great addition 
to the Phantom series and the Mavic Pro series because it would announce the precise location of the Phantom drone and also the Mavic Pro drone to all aircraft in the area, which just makes flying that much safer and enables adequate separation between drones and aircraft. And this has been the five things that you need to know about the Matrice 200 series drone from DJI and what it might mean for future iterations of the Phantom series and the Mavic Pro series. Now, you've heard my thoughts on this, but I'd love to hear yours. What would you like to see in future iterations of the Phantom series and also the Mavic Pro series from DJI? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss any upcoming videos. I'm John Conrad from Drone One Media. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.